This will be a quick overview of how to use support blockers in the current beta version of Slicer PE. So I've got this print over here, and this is a tactical rail, and it's got an overhang that I probably could print without supports, but I want to, I just want a cleaner look. So because they're covered, and I can't just use the build plate setting, I need to set supports to everywhere, and when I slice it, you'll see supports all over the place. So if you want to set blockers so I can I only want supports on this front section. What you'll do is you'll click on the print, go to settings, and this settings box will pop up. What you want to do is click on load generic, and it defaults to box. I'm fine with that, and I'll just set a generic size of 50 by 50 by 50, so 50 cubed. And I have this 50 cube shape that has now been loaded. So what you're going to want to do is click on lambda box, that's what's been made, and you'll see it turn green. And we're going to position it over the parts I don't want supports. So I'll set the X, I'll set the Y, and that's good enough. That covers everything that would usually use supports, except that rail section. The last thing you'll need to do is on type, set the drop down for a modifier to a support blocker, and you'll see that X icon where Lambda Box is, that now tells you that's a support blocker. Once you're done, click on OK, slice again, and now you'll see the print has supports only set on the section that wasn't blocked, and that is the rail section, and that's how you use support blockers.